Do you guys remember 3D effects? Do you guys remember the voodoo cards? This company called 3D effects came around in the mid 90s and they forged the way of 3D acceleration, hardware 3D acceleration as we know it today. Uh, a lot of arcade games in the mid 90s uh, used 3D effects chips in them. Um, and these were some of the first uh, computer-based uh, 3D acceleration cards, you know, and some of the games at the time, like Quake, uh, were starting to get into hardware-based 3D acceleration, and this really uh, pushed computers into the 3D gaming world. At the time, uh, you know, they weren't really known for their 3D power, per se. This card right here is a Voodoo 2, and it's got three GPUs on it, built by 3D Effects, and they ran a, an API at the, at the time called Glide. Um, there were several APIs at the time. Um, of course, now there's pretty much only one. It's the standard that we all know. It comes with Windows. It's called DirectX and Direct3D, and that's pretty much what uh, all games for PCs are written for, for nowadays. But at the time, uh, DirectX wasn't uh, wasn't really the standard. There was a whole bunch of uh, APIs, uh, OpenGL and Glide and 3D Effects, and neither one was taking a hold yet. So um, <clears throat> you had games coming out sometimes uh, that used several of the API options or one or the other. But uh, these guys here in Glide. A lot of the first 3D accelerated games uh, works best with Glide, and uh, a good example of the prime of uh, Glide and the prime of this 3D effects Voodoo 2 would it be uh, maybe Unreal Tournament. Uh, Unreal Tournament used the Unreal Engine, which at the time was actually built for Glide uh, primarily, and um, it did run and look the best on Glide. So if you had a 3D effects card like this Voodoo 2, when uh, everyone was playing Unreal Tournament, uh, you were getting the best graphics in uh, Unreal Tournament. And uh, anyways, another interesting fact about this card is the Voodoo 1, the Voodoo 2, these early 3D effects cards, these early 3D accelerator cards is that there's no actual 2D processing, there's no uh, 2D GPU on this card. So you actually have to have a video card in the computer and then your 3D accelerator card goes in another PCI slot and you have to take the VGA out of the back of your video card into your 3D accelerator and then out of your 3D accelerator to your monitor. So you had to have a video card and then your 3D accelerator whereas now your 2D and your 3D is all done in one chip, it's all done in one, one card, you don't have two separate cards. But but back then that's how you ha that's how you had to do it. Now this card's got eight megs of RAM on it, and I think 16 was the option on the Voodoo 2. Um, but this one here in particular's got eight megs. Yeah. And the other cool feature that they introduced in uh, probably around the late 90s with the Voodoo 2 was SLI. We know SLI technology now. Uh, it's a term that uh, NVIDIA uses for running two video cards in the same system. Two or more, I guess I should say. Uh, ATI has a similar system, they call it Crossfire. You can run two, uh, f or up to four. Uh, with Crossfire X, you can run multiple video cards in the same machine. And uh, the memory and the, the power of the graphics processors gets combined uh, to draw your game uh, even faster. So when you need even more power, you would run multiple video cards. Well, these guys started it. If we look up here, we have a a port. Looks kind of like a floppy drive connection. I'm not sure uh, the difference in pins, but I'm not going to count them on camera right now for you. But here you can see I've got another Voodoo 2. These are both Diamond uh, 3D FX Voodoo 2s. So they're both uh, 8 meg. And I'm just going to SLI them here. Now we have two of these cards, 16 megs total. And once again, you'd have your uh, your 2D card. You'd have your video card, 
and then you'd have two of these uh, 3D accelerators. Uh, three PCI slots total. <laughs> this is pretty hardcore back in, you know, people today think they're hardcore when they have SLI. Well, these guys started SLI in the late 90s, and uh, unfortunately, uh, NVIDIA came out, and, uh, you know, ATI's rage got started to get popular. Um, Microsoft's DirectX started to become more popular. It was pushed with the operating system. More and more games were going to DirectX. And uh, with the Voodoo 3s and the Voodoo 4s, uh, they were still fast uh, glide cards and OpenGL cards. But they were never as fast, in my opinion, at the Direct 3D. Um, their Direct 3D performance was never really up to par. And uh, eventually, NVIDIA bought... 3D effects out. That would have been about 2000, 2001, somewhere around there. The early early 2000s, uh, Nvidia bought 3D effects, and uh, and now we have SLI today. But this is where it started. And actually, uh, <coughs> someone threw out a bag of computer parts at work the other day, and I thought I'd go through it before you know we threw it threw it out in the dumpster, and these were in there, so. You know, I thought I would just uh, show them to you guys. Some of you guys probably don't realize, or, you know, maybe you don't remember 3D effects, but uh, they were actually a really big company in the mid to late 90s, and uh, they got gobbled up by NVIDIA, so there you go.